fucking cry right now, bro. Oh my God. Donald, you have a heck of a kicking background. Aside from your social media success, would you be interested in kicking for the Nobody at all. Who can take my place? Can be me. Nobody at all. Who got something to say? Who gon' say it? Everybody who gon' say it to my face? Who brave enough? Nobody. I thought so. Who can take this place for me? Welcome to the Kicking Factory. So Luis Zende has a good friend of mine, kicked in the NFL, played for the Cowboys. Now he has a facility in his backyard, full 65, 70 yard field. Go poles, high school size, college NFL size, and arena size. So you really get to test your accuracy. Um, he just opens up his kicking factory slash backyard for any kickers trying to get work, to be honest. I just hit him up like, hey, I just want to get some reps in. And he's like, hey, come through. I got a snapper holder ready for you. Let's get that money. Perfect, right there. I was a little nervous arriving because I haven't done snap and holds in, it's been years, bro. Fire, fire. <laughs> Still got it up. <laughs> Not to be rude, but look at that big ass. Just go right up that right there where he's snapping from. <laughs> Come on. Why, why are you worried about me? Come on. Let's go. Let's hit it. There you go. Yeah, still got it up. Obviously, I go to the field by myself. I could put the ball on a stick, but that is not really simulating what a real live rep would be like. Great ball right there. I feel like this is the ultimate icing. Changing holders mid-game. So as I'm trying to prepare and really put myself in these environments that I'm going to experience when I become a pro, I said when I become a pro because I firmly believe it. I'm trying to simulate everything possible. There's this dude <laughs> at the kicking factory. He just finished working out. He stuck around for my workout. He was just making noises. He was talking shit. He was playing some crowd noise out of a loudspeaker. Like he was trying his very best, his very hardest to throw me off. That's it. Threw me off. I thought an airplane crashed. I'm Joaquin Rodriguez, and I'm a professional shit talker. You suck, bro. You about to long snap it this far? Oh my god. No hands. Give me ten. Nah, give me ten, Mister. I'm a receiver. <laughs> I'm not just a kicker. Flamboos. <laughs> 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 hate these Come on guys. Now. Game winner. Two seconds left on the clock. You suck. <laughs> Time, 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 time. You yeah, time, time, time. suck. Uh, uh, hey, it's old T out of call time up for him. I love he it. saw him right there. He saw his I love feet. It. He's like, shoot. <laughs> so what impressed me about T is the fact that he loves competition. He loves pressure kicks. He enjoys, he thrives off of those. And those are the things that you're gonna need in the next level. Kill commercial. Kill commercial. Kill commercial. Kill commercial. <laughs> a boy got a YouTube ad. Obviously, I hear it, but at the end of the day, we got to be locked in. We ain't gonna let these fans at these games throw our kicks off. So why don't we let little old Joaquin with an iPhone and a speaker throw us off? And today he has power, consistency. He's not focused so much on that. He's just more blocking out everything else that comes across from people talking, the noise that we did. He's concentrating on one goal and that's making that field goal. On my first day kicking with a snap in a hold, man, it went terrific. I felt amazing. I feel this much closer to finally fulfilling this dream. And like I said, I got this dream, but I also got a job. Your boys booked the flight to Hawaii. I like to go out to Hawaii every single year. I get back to the community out there. There's certain events that I hosted, a few one-on-ones for the youth, for adults, O-line, D-line. And I know you guys are gonna go down in the comments, destroying you not locked in, you not locked in. And trust me, I've been seeing the comments, but I'm still out there getting work. But at the same time, I've built this huge, amazing platform. And just because I'm chasing my dream doesn't mean I'm gonna stop others from being able to chase their dreams. I'm still gonna highlight other people give them the platform to chase their dreams. They deserve a shot, they deserve an opportunity, and they deserve eyes, and I feel like with my platform, I'm able to provide that. And just because I'm chasing this NFL dream doesn't mean I put the community on hold. I got on gold, just said, I've been writing it.
in Dubai. You trying to meet a guy to fuck around, meet your demise. He wanna be funny like this, stand up, let's stand up. Nigga, I put this shit on Zach and then move, piss I ran down. Well, not literally ran, but I told him, made him stand down. Ain't nobody shit, so I high five you with your hand down. Bitch, you the only fan, so when I fuck, don't turn around. We did all these events for the community. We was out there for a lot of hours every single day working with them, filming and doing things. And I enjoyed it, but it's time to get back to work. We pulled up to the University of Hawaii. So I'm very grateful for them. They let me kick on their field, let me work on their weight room. And you know, obviously we're on this business trip and we're doing our thing with the community, but I still got to keep the blade sharp. So we line up on the field and we get some kicks in. But while you laying down, you're supposed to be locked in. I think I'm gonna challenge myself today a little bit, y'all boys. Obviously, there's no trainer, no coach, no nobody holding me accountable out here, so I gotta hold myself accountable. For every single miss, I'm feeling good. Probably won't be a lot of misses, but for every single miss, we gotta gas it. 53 and a half yards across, see three and a half yards across back. It's full sprint. Now, obviously, we're in Hawaii. The weather in the rest of America is great right now. A little cold, but Hawaii is hot. 85, 90 degrees, super humid. You step outside and you drenched in sweat. Kicking is a very mental game. 60% of your kick comes from here. 40% is what you do in your preparation. So I had to make sure I was locked in. So I do what you do. Trust your legs, trust your skill, trust your preparation, man. Take a deep breath, aim. Swift so working today, man. Yeah, go get that ball. Ah, I threw my back out. Nice. I gotta tighten up though. I hit the ground on that one. <sighs> Two gasters. Why he is different, fam. That's what I get for yapping. I'm a firm believer in never really leaving the field on a miss, because you're going to think about that all night. So um, we just have to keep going and keep working. Niggas ain't going to be nowhere but on YouTube doing this shit. Let's tighten up, man. Let's tighten up. Can't do nothing but laugh right now. You know when you f up so much, it's like almost funny. What's the What's the odds of that? I told you it's comical at this point. <laughs> oh my god! I just kept missing and kept missing, and uh, I will say I I had a L versus the mental battle that day. Oh my god! F Man, that jump looks steep, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ah, man, that kicking session kept me up all night. But um, like I said, I'm trying to work on just my mental strength. So I challenged myself to go on this hike. It's called the Cocoa Head Hike. The mountain's kind of like this, and then it gets steeper and steeper the higher and higher you go. You get more tired, and it gets more challenging as you go. I've been kicking all these years. It's felt like things have been great. We could even take it back to Zendejas' crib. I felt like I was kicking, doing my best, and out of nowhere, I'm hit with some adversity. So as things get harder, and as you reach closer to the top of this mountain, and you want to quit, and you want to give up, and I just had to keep going. And basically tell myself, boy, you ain't quitting. You ain't coming off this mountain. You got a long way to go. It's 1,048 steps. It's 900 feet of elevation. Achieving this dream is basically like reaching the top of that mountain. Tell us some motivational shit, Sweet. <laughs> Don't ever give up. Peace. Uh, yesterday, obviously, we had a terrible day at the field. I'm human. I miss kicks. I have bad days, too. I realize it's good that I'm hard on myself, but this journey ain't just a straight path to success. Uh, obviously, I've chased it over the years. Obviously, I've failed countless times, but I feel really good about this time. Um, life is hard, bro. Life is hard. It takes a lot of hard work. Shit, if life was easy, I mean, we'd all be rich. We'd all be in the NFL. We'd all be doing the things we want to do. But when you feel like you're down in the dumps, when you feel like you had your very first step on a 1,048-step hike, your very first foot out of 890 feet, 
just know, don't quit. When you're at the top, you're enjoying the views of Hawaii. You can see the whole island, you see the ocean, you see so many great things that you just struggled on your way up this mountain to really view. And um, I swear, bro, I can't even script this. And I know y'all gonna think, oh, you're filming this now, you send stuff up. Bro, I cannot script this when I say I got to the top of that mountain. I'm enjoying my view. I look at my phone and I get the best text message I could have ever freaking received, bro. What are the odds, bro? Oh! Oh, bro, no way. No way. I just got a text message. I could cry right now, bro. Oh my God. Donald, this is Mark Lilly Biggs, the GM of the San Antonio Brahmins. Last year, I was DPP of the Roughnecks. You have a keck of a kicking background. Aside from your social media success, would you be interested in kicking for the problems? In this whole entire time, I was trying to figure out what my options are. Maybe I have some eligibility left to go back to college. I might get an NFL trial. Maybe I have to go CFL. Maybe I have to go play in Europe, do something. And literally, bro, this moment is where it all just became clear. Donald, hey, Mark Lillibridge here, uh, GM. Hey, you will be getting an email either tonight or tomorrow uh, with your letter of intent to sign with the Brahmas. So uh, congratulations. I'm pumped, man. I really am. I think you got a legit shot. It's going to be a, a great competition. I, I believe in that. Um, but I think that uh, you know, if you seize this and take this serious, uh, this could be your next step uh, of chasing your dream and getting to the NFL. So congratulations, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next weekend out in San Diego.